Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Josie's Point of View, where we focus on human interest stories from the Carolinas and beyond. Today's Wednesday and it's March the 8th, 2023. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend to you a warm welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you find the information here to be informative. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. You know, I always say the tide changes so frequently here on these YouTube streets. So you always have to acknowledge where your support comes from. And I want you to know, I sincerely thank you for your support. Feel free to like and to share this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And our story today comes from the city of Fayetteville here in North Carolina. Take a look at that headline. And it reads, former Fort Bragg soldier arrested for cold case murder in Fayetteville. I'll provide you with a summary here. And as always, I'll place links to a few of the full articles in the description box. Well, I wanted to speak on this case because it focuses on a cold case with military connections here at the Fort Bragg area. It's about a murder that was committed over a decade ago. And to our surprise, last month, we learned the case was solved when a suspect was arrested in another state and the accused is being brought back to Fayetteville to face charges. And to me, this offers a measure of hope because within the last few years, we have had a few unsolved murder cases from Fort Bragg and they have gone into the cold case filed. So this is hope that maybe those cases will also be solved in the very near future. Begin with the deceased. His name was Terrence Omar Plummer Jr. He was 22 years old. Reports say he was a military brat. And for those who may not understand the terminology, a military brat is a term used to identify a child of military parents who grew up in the military environment and traveled around or moved around quite a bit like we do. So Plummer was a military brat. And as an adult, he was identified as being part of the LGBTQIA community. It was stated that he was a transsexual and that he was also homeless and the pictures here were provided courtesy to Fayetteville, North Carolina Police Department. According to reports, Plummer was last seen alive on the May the 30th when he was seen driving in a late model, either a silver or gray Volkswagen Beetle, about a half a mile from an abandoned apartment building in a location known as Boney Dune in the city of Fayetteville here in North Carolina. Now, according to the witness, a witness, he was arguing with a white male, and because of the way the end of the white male looked, his appearance, his stature, his hair, how he was dressed, the witness suggested he may have been an active duty soldier, and that was on May the 30th. The next morning, which was now May the 31st, officers responded to that same abandoned apartment in Bonnie Dune, where they found the body of Plummer. Back then, police said the scene was just so gruesome, they were overwhelmed by what they saw. Autopsy would later reveal that Plummer had 31 stab wounds, and that did not include additional cuts they found on the back of his neck and on his forearm. So the deceased had cuts and stab wounds everywhere. The report stated the worst stab wounds were to his chest, where the weapon had penetrated both of his lungs, not just one, but both of his lungs, and that caused fatal bleeding. So the stab wounds to his lungs is what caused him to bleed out and die. The suspect was never identified, but two things were confirmed by police. One, police say uh, a set of forensic evidence was collected from the scene and they preserved it. They also know that a Fort Bragg soldier owned a silver or a gray Volkswagen Beetle, which was identified by an eyewitness. And as I already mentioned, the witness had communicated to police to believe that this individual last seen with Plummer most likely was a soldier because of his attire and his physical characteristic. And we know that with advance in technology, a lot of things have, been, have improved to include data analysis techniques. And with the evidence being preserved, these advances now made methods of analysis more available, and that's what allowed them to crack this case. Fast forward 13 years later. Last month, the Fayetteville Police Department announced that a former Fort Bragg soldier was arrested and charged with first-degree murder in the death of 22-year-old Plummer. Now, the man identified here, 41-year-old Joshua Aaron Richardson, was arrested at his home in Houston, Texas, and booked into the Harris County, Texas jail, where he is awaiting extradition back to Fayetteville, North Carolina, to face those charges. One thing that was made clear, Richardson was stationed at Fort Bragg at the time Plummer was murdered, 
Report states that he owned either a silver or gray Volkswagen wa uh, a a Volkswagen Beetle, and I'm sure there were additional forensic evidence that has tied him to the scene. Sim is currently in jail awaiting extradition back to North Carolina to face first de degree murder charges. It was reported that several states were involved in this arrest and it involved coordination with both civilian as well as military agencies. And that's great to know that they are indeed working together. And police are convinced they have the right suspect. Police also say that even though Richardson is now in custody, their investigation is ongoing. You know, I give them a lot of credit for not giving up on this case and 13 years later they have connected the evidence to a suspect and that really gives us hope that a few of the cold cases from Fort Bragg that we've been watching it gives us hope that maybe those cases would be solved and that those families would eventually receive justice but I'll try to stay on top of this case and I'll bring you updates whenever they are available And that's all I have for you right now. Feel free to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this video. And by all means, feel free to like it and to share it. And if you haven't done so already, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red subscribe button. It's on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And if you click on the bell that looks just like this one, that's the notification bell. If you click on that notification bell, you'll be the first to know whenever a new video is uploaded. I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.